and then there's no fun. You're sitting at table with your family or friends and everyone's just like like robots eating. There's no fun. There's no creativity in the moment. There's no availability in this moment because everything is about past and future. And it's dead. It's very simple, my brothers and sisters. It's very simple. Come and join me on this side. Come come and enjoy this. Come and enjoy the richness of life with me. Here, right now, in this very moment. Because it's yours. All right, see if we have any. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kim, your daughter just came back from Tulum. I've been thinking about Tulum. I want to go to Tulum. So. Yeah, she was there for three days with her friends. Uh huh. Yeah. So you can. That's really good because it's been on my radar and I've been thinking about it. So, I'm kind of waiting to see what, if the border is going to, I was thinking about buying my ticket and book a place, but I'm just waiting to see if it's still going to be open up by then, in the next two, three weeks, if it's available, to possible to travel. So, but I'm happy to hear that. So, let's see. See what else? Go ahead. Seven of us with my friends. We we took a trip to Mount Shasta. We had a road trip two weeks ago. Okay. It was incredible life experience. You're the second person talk about Mount Shasta in past uh, couple weeks. I don't know. Someone else brought it up. Uh, I've never been there. Um, So I heard a lot of wonderful. comments about it but i've never made it there so that sounds good i don't know if i want to go to mount shasta in winter but uh uh-huh to go into the the mountain there's there's a telos village that is part of the Lumeria consciousness that lives uh-huh. within the mountain. And you go in there, you, you get invited to be in a meditation mode, to be invited in there to experience whatever they want us to experience. Beautiful. Yes. Wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. I am sure whatever that experience is, it could be discovered in this very moment, in the presence, right here, right now. You are in Lumeria, in this very moment. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> right here, right now, you are in Mount Shasta. <laughs> and you know what the message I got from them before I leave the, the village? Uh-huh. Was, I was, we were given, had to give a gift, and uh-huh. my gift was a feather. And I asked, what is this feather for? And immediately it came to me that this feather means be easy on yourself or be soft on yourself. And it was so profound. I just broke out and cried because I'm pretty tough on myself because I'm a perfectionist. Mm. So it was a life changing event. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I understand. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. Just be easy on yourself. Exactly. Yeah, be easy. Be easy in 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 the way of not beating yourself up. Don't be don't be easy on yourself when it comes to your commitment to freedom. 
that do not compromise awareness with anything else. Never, never risk awareness for anything and risk everything for awareness. But yes, be easy on yourself as far as beating yourself up because it's the mind comes and beat yourself up. So you're, you're on the right path, my sister. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? No? Cool. Well, I'd like to thank you all uh, for joining me. Uh, we'll have our next academy next Wednesday. Um, my website is zaratustra.tv and uh, that's how you can uh, connect with us if you want to go to uh, come on the website. There is a bunch of uh, vi free videos and meditations available for you. Uh, also, if you want to go to the calendar event to see when is the next academy. Um, so far, we've scheduled the academies all the way till the third week of December. I'm, you know, I'm debating whether we should have our academy the day before Christmas or not. Uh, that's something I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to feel it to see if we're doing it or not. Uh, I know some people are going to be traveling and visiting family. So um, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. But uh, also, if you have any comments to make and you want to connect with us, uh, send us an email, info at zaratustra.tv. Uh, I, I will get all your emails and uh, we will respond back to you. Sometimes it's not immediate. It takes a little bit of time, but we'll get back to you. Um, what else I was going to say? I forgot. Lost my train of thoughts. It happens sometimes. Oh, here. We have a comment here. Let's see. Yes, I understand. Oh, and it's still clear. Okay. So, uh, those of you who are on the live training program with me, uh, if you later on can email me of your um, Christmas, New Year holiday uh, plans, if you know you're going to be available or not, uh, I know some of you may be waiting for the last minute to make decisions what to do because that's what I'm doing. But uh, if, if, if you know of the dates you're not going to be able to get together, just send me uh, your itinerary so I have an idea of how to schedule, uh, our, uh, how to do the scheduling. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful to have you in my life. I'm very grateful for existence to honor me or find me worthy to be put in this position and get, being given the opportunity of diving into this presence, of discovering this magic, something I didn't know all my life was looking for it, and uh, it, it arrived, and it evolves. It's certainly, I'm looking forward to the next phase and how, how it's going to expand because it's always mind-blowing, and it always surprises me of always something else shows up. And it humbles me in a way that, you know, there were moments in my life, in my spiritual development that I said, I, I got it, I know it, or I thought I figured it out. But it's amazing that it's ever-expanding. And uh, 
sometimes when I go on YouTube and I listen to other teachers and I find new things and it's like, oh wow, that's a great perspective of seeing something and I didn't know that. And all of a sudden I learn something new and it opens up my psyche to my awareness to some perspectives that I had no idea or realizations come. And it's good to be childlike and not come to any conclusions of I know everything or I've done so much work that I know it all or whatever. I'm really grateful for being on this path and being in this position and now having an opportunity to share my understanding of the absolute and the wisdom that's that I've come to with all of you. And so thank you for being in my life. I love you very much. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And happy Thanksgiving. Namaste.